China's March property prices jump a record 11.7 percent. China's property prices rose at a record pace in March, indicating that government efforts to stem gains aren't working and more drastic measures may be needed amid concern of the bubble in the nation's housing market. Residential and commercial real estate prices in 70 major cities climbed an average of 11.7 percent from a year earlier. This data goes back to 2005. China has raised mortgage rates and reimposed a sales tax on homes in the first two months of the, of the year to reduce the risk of an asset bubble. The government announced in March developers will have to pay higher deposits for land purchases and ban banks from lending to builders found to be hoarding land or holding back home sales in anticipation of higher prices. Now, China right now has a real problem with speculators. Uh, there are many with deep pockets that are buying up Chinese properties, flipping them, and selling them at a profit because for the past several decades, the housing market in China has done nothing but go straight up. Now, this has stressed out many uh, average Chinese uh, who are concerned about purchasing a home because um, for the longest time, 40% deposit was required to purchase a home. This past week, many Shanghai banks announced that it would require a 60% down payment to purchase a home. Now, many of my friends uh, simply cannot afford that, and um, they're stressed about what to do, um, and they want to own their own home. They think it's a good investment. They're not 100% safe getting into the stock market, even though that the stock market is overheating um, in China as well. Uh, where to park their money? Because most Chinese save between 20 and 30% of their take-home pay, and uh, keeping it in banks is not the wisest policy, considering that China is printing up money as quickly as the uh, United States is. Um, over 1.2 trillion injected into their economy uh, in the past 18 months, and that has contributed a large amount to the growth of 8% last year, the Chinese economy, and most likely will also contribute to a figure coming out at the end of this year um, for uh, growth in the Chinese economy. Um, basically, they're not exporting as much as they were. Um, and the government has been supplementing the Chinese economy heavily. And this is also reflected in the housing market. Now, there's been many discussions uh, with the Chinese leadership on potentially adding property taxes for the first time in China. Um, but property taxes for property they don't actually own because Chinese homes are nothing but two-bedroom condos, and Chinese people aren't allowed to own property. So go figure.